Right, we're doing Leaving Cert uh, Physics 2022. I'm on question three, which is a question, an experimental question from section A. And then you know that all section A questions are 40 marks. And uh, the theme is Snell's Law. A very, very popular question. They love asking Snell's Law. Uh, the first part, so they're asking me to draw a label diagram of how the apparatus is arranged in the experiment. Again, this is the way I do it. You might do it with lasers or whatever. I do it with a glass block. Uh, two pins on this side, two pins on that, the other side. Uh, so label everything, your glass block, your refracted ray, your incident ray, your normal N. Put in your angles of incidence and refraction and I've got my pins put in as well. Um, I've listed the apparatus here. Sometimes I just say the apparatus shown in the diagram. But sometimes, you know, there's things that aren't shown there like the paper. The whole thing is sitting on a piece of paper that you can draw lines on. Ruler isn't shown. So I'll put the apparatus in to capture all the other stuff as well. So nine marks for the diagram. That's standard. Uh, that's just a standard piece of learning. Um, it asked me to describe how the student determined the angle of refraction. Um, I've written it down here. You know, write down three or four simple sentences. So, I'm going to look through the glass on the far side and I'm going to place two pins so that all four pins are in a straight line. So if I'm back to my diagram here, I placed two pins in the paper, I drew the incident ray through there, then I went to the other side and I looked through the glass and I placed two more pins so that all four pins appear to be in a straight line. Um, obviously the light bends, so they're not actually in a straight line. I place them in, draw that line, and then join back there, and that gives me my refracted ray. So, that's my first sentence. Then I say I draw N, that's the normal, with the set square, at the point of incidence. And then I'll measure or, that's the angle of refraction using a protractor. Anytime you measure something or draw something, Always say what you do it with, protractor, set square, so on. They like that. So, nine marks for saying how I determined uh, the angle of refraction. So that, with the diagram, explains just about everything. Next part of the question. They're asking me to draw a suitable graph. Now everyone knows that a suitable graph when we're talking about Snell's law, is sine i against sine r. So what they mean by suitable is, they give you the angles, don't they? 30 degrees, 40 degrees, 50 degrees. Well, you've got to uh, work out the sine of the angles. So get your sine of 30. I think if you go to two decimal places, that works very nicely. So two decimal places for all your values of sine i and sine r. Then I'm ready to draw the graph. I'm going to put sine i here. You could put sine i down there. But I prefer to put it here because when I find the slope, it's automatically equal to the refractive index. It's up to you. Uh, sine R down here. Uh, for sine I, it goes from zero all the way up to nearly one. So I'm going to go up in point twos. For sine R, the highest value goes up to is point seven. I'm actually going to go up in point ones. You can go up in different values if you want. So I went up in point twos for sine I and point uh, ones for sine r. So now I'm ready to draw my graph. So put in all your points very, very carefully. So my first point is sine r is down here, 0 0.33.5. So add to 0 0.33, up to 0 0.5. And then put in all your various points. I've only did them roughly, you're obviously going to do them uh, more accurately than that. So put in all my points, and then when I put all my points in, you want to get the line of best fish. So the line of best fish uh, would be, well, anchor your ruler. Glass ruler is the best, long glass ruler at the origin. And put it up through the points. Some points will be above, some points below, some points on. So it's going to split the points if you like. Mine, mine is only rough, so don't, don't worry about mine. You're going to do it more accurately than me. Um, 
How does my graph verify Snell's law? They're not asking me that here, but if they did, you know, to say the straight line graph going through the origin, and therefore sine i is directly proportional to sine r. They're asking me after I draw my graph, by the way, there's 12 marks for the graph, it's the usual thing, isn't it? Three for the this, three for the best fish, and so on and so on. So 12 marks altogether. They're saying in part, part four, use your graph to calculate the refractive index of glass. Well, that means find the slope of my graph. So I'm going to take, I'm going to take a point along the sine or axis. Let me take the point, say, of uh, 0.35. So let's go to 0.35 along here. Draw a line straight up. Draw a line straight across. When you find the slope, you want to show very clearly that you're choosing two points. Now, one of the points I'll always choose is the origin. So mark in the origin to show them that you're actually taking that point. And this point here that I've marked in, this point here will be 0.35, uh, say 0.5. We also call that the rise and the run. The run is how far you go out. So the run is 0.35 and the rise is 0.5. So now I'm ready to work out the slope. The slope of this graph is rise over run. The rise is how high you go up. The rise is a value for sine i. The run is how far you go out. That's a value for sine r. The slope is the refractive index. That is equal to m. Let me work out what n is. N is equal to. So when I calculate the rise, show your full calculation. The rise is going to be 0.5 minus 0. All over the run, which is 0.35 minus 0. So put that into my calculator. And when I put that into my calculator, I get a refractive index of around 1.4. So six marks for that. The last thing they're asking in this question is, what will be observed if the angle of incidence was zero degrees? Four marks for this. Well, if the angle of incidence was zero degrees, the angle of refraction will also be zero degrees. And basically, what will happen is, uh, the light will pass straight through. with no refraction. Okay, I don't think that was too bad. You know, that was a very standard question. There was no real tricks in it. So thank you very much.